rain, though, hasn't helped stop a fast-moving wildfire in Tennessee. We just alluded to it. It's burned dozens of homes, injured several people as officials scramble to evacuate danger zones. 7 News reporter Dave Jordan is in Gatlinburg. He has the very latest. This area of Gatlinburg is called Cobbly Knob. This is where some of the people were forced to evacuate last night. We spoke with some of them this afternoon. We just left with every, what we have on. We just left. Tiffany Posey was one of hundreds in Cobbly Knob forced to cut their vacation short after flames crept up to their cabins. The Greenville, South Carolina native tells us the fire was burning on Saturday when she arrived, but it posed no threat until last night when strong winds caused the flames to spread. It was pretty scary last night. The fires were above all the trees and we could see, I mean, they were closed. The ashes were all over our vehicles. Today you could still see plumes of smoke billowing from the mountains. A closer look shows damage to cabins in the path of the fire. Yeah, it's coming here last night. Paul Ramsey tells us his house almost burned down. It almost made it to my house, and thank the Lord, the rain come and put it out. But that rain did not do nearly enough to help the situation. Today, flames were still spreading throughout Gatlinburg as firefighters race quickly from one scene to the next. More than 100 structures already consumed, and late today, we've learned three people were killed. Some of the people in the cabins were allowed to come back late this afternoon and collect their stuff before leaving. Firefighters are still concerned about the high winds expected to move in later today. In Gatlinburg, Dave Jordan, 7 News.